Hello Collective, how we doing? Gigi here, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are doing well. Uh, tonight I'm doing a couple of different readings, trying to channel, ooh, that's too much going on right now. I'm just doing a pre-shuffle. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit. I have a video uploading right now for you guys and I'm trying to continue to keep this energy because it feels like there's more that needs to be said. Um, I was over th that video was already over an hour and I wanted to see if there was anything further that spirit wanted us to know. So go and check out that other video. It's called the DM is, it, uh, is the DM is going to find out that baby isn't his way too late <laughs> if he doesn't go and get a DNS DNA test now. So I feel like spirit has more to say about this, more about the intimate details of it collective. So if that video resonated with you, please go back and check it out. Okay. All right. Let's get some, let's get some sage. I want to actually sage sage. Let's get a real piece of sage here. Whoops. Sage sage. I used the kipper for the first time in that reading too, and it was pretty awesome. Pulled out a couple of new decks for you guys today. My Divine Feminine Oracle, my kipper, and actually I have, uh, Spirit had me pull out the third part of Love and Confusion. I thought it was not finished, but I'm being told it's needing to be used today. So I also have Big Bertha out. I've got all my, pretty much all my cards out except for tarot, which I'm not really using anymore except for personal readings in person. So, all right. All right. Let it burn. <laughs> Let it burn. Okay. All right, guys, this message is for the collective. If it does not resonate, please don't force it. All of my testimonies are my own. All of my opinions are my own. I am not a certified therapist. Okay, okie dokie. <laughs> Just wanting to make sure that was very clear. Not that I haven't said it a hundred times already, but still. I'm just going to jump into it, guys. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me through this reading for the collective. Please allow Archangel Gabriel to come down and help guide me with clear and precise messages. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me and the collective as I channel this energy surrounding us. What is the zodiac signs we need to tell them about now, spirit? We have Sagittarius. We have Pluto for Scorpio. On the bottom of the deck, we have Mercury, which is Virgo, and Gemini. Yep, Mercury is for Virgo and Gemini. Okay. Spirit saying Kipper. Let's get the Kipper. on the split. We've got a community and mature man. What's the energy? Oof. There's that mature man again. We have an unexpected income. Okay, we have imprisonment. We have thinking about thoughts, which is causing despair, concern, a feeling of imprisonment in their own head. There's a message of concern. And 
a message. So we got confirmation on that message from the courthouse. trying to give me a message I'm trying to somebody sitting in concern waiting for a letter from the courthouse about paperwork about a marriage somebody's expectations or expecting somebody has an expectation oh Okay, spirit, thank you. It's going like this. Okay. So there so the expectation from this message from the courthouse, the expectation is imprisonment. So they're in the despair and they're try and they're concerned and they're all up in their thoughts, but they there's this mature it's it's a mature man. Maybe this unexpected income was not um they didn't get it correctly. Wait. Hold on. I'm trying to make sense of what's in my head right now. Spirit's telling me that this mountain mature man got married for the money. Or to keep him Spirit, did this mature man get married to keep this person from telling how they got this unexpected income and now they're all up in their head worried about get this what's going to happen with this adjudication and they're expecting him to go to jail so he's all up in despair and worried and freaking out all up in his head Messages for this. Can we close out this part? This last message. I know it's in there. What is it, Spirit? What is it? Thank you. The main male. The main male is a mature man. The main man is. The main male is a mature man that somehow got an unexpected income and it wasn't gotten properly. And the way Spirit's showing this to me is that this, this feminine, this karmic feminine on the bottom of the deck, somebody's in bad health and they don't want to... This mature, the main male, the mature man is in bad health and they and they're expecting to go to jail and it could very well be for a long time and they may be in bad health and they don't want to die in jail but they're going on a journey I guess while they wait for this this message from the courthouse they're going on a journey maybe to see somebody Oh, the false person in the reverse. I want to see if there's anything else. I want to see if this stuff comes out for real. There's some change that needs to be happening. Okay. Masculine, whoever you are, if you somehow got a large sum of money illegally or you or you somehow there's something not right about how you got this money and you have a female that you did it with and she's blackmailing you to marry her so she shuts her mouth so you guys so she can keep her you know keep in that you know those deep pockets either way you're going to jail so you might as well not even marry this nonsense and uh take this journey and go on and change before you get involved with something just if you have to face up to your to what's going to happen you're already going to end up in jail 
if you, I really feel like if you marry her, you're going to end up in jail. Wait a minute. These two need to switch. She's trying. Oh. Hmm. I'm confused now, spirit. No, that was right. That was right. Sorry, something else was coming through. Completely different message. Anything else, spirit, from here? Yeah, I feel like the woman got this letter somehow. This is the woman that this main male, Mary, got a letter in the mail saying, uh oh, we got the message. It's from court. They figured it out. And now they're expecting to go to jail because of it. And now they're in despair. I feel like there's something else. Any further messages? Oh, it was a theft. On the bottom of the deck, there's a false person. This female is a false person. Two false people. Wow, that looks like somebody writing in a window. Doesn't that look like there's somebody trying behind them trying to warn them by writing something on the mirror here? Do, do you guys see that? It's like somebody's trying, won't, trying to warn this masculine here that this female is a false person and she's going to end up getting him into trouble. Like spirits was writing a message on the on the mirror. Hey, stupid! Don't do what you're doing with this person. It's gonna land your ass in jail. Wealthy man, yeah, because they somehow they were a thief, or did they steal it from a wealthy man? Is this tying in with the last? It is tying in with the last reading. This main male stole from a wealthy man. They somehow, this somebody manipulated and stole, from, whoa. There's that false person. There's that journey card. This wealthy man was held in high honor And this, this main male held this wealthy man in high honor and was manipulated by this false female that he ended up marrying. And that this main, this false person manipulated the main male into stealing from this mask, this wealthy person who, okay, wait a minute. No, the wealthy man. Are there two old men? Both of them are older men. Or a mature man. Both of them are... The main male is an older man. This wealthy man is an older man. This false person is using men, older men, for money. However... This wealthy man that's being held in high honor is gonna is just gonna be like, no, you guys stole from me, you manipulated for me, you you manipulate manipulated me. I'm done. I'm taking this journey to a new to, to on a new pathway to go and find what I'm supposed to do in this life, and it does not involve you guys. So I'm out on the bottom of the deck to extend a gift to a privileged lady and give them courtship. That's what this pathway is leading to. And I believe, Collective, that you are the privileged lady that's going to receive the gift of courtship with this wealthy man. They're on their way to you. They realize that this, these people over here, these friends, this female, this other main male, this mature man over here, were manipulating him and using him 
trying to use the, 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 the love that they had for him against him. And now he's taking a journey towards you, getting on the right path towards you. So that way he can court you, collective this wealthy man, and give you the gift of love. And you will be the, be the gift of, and you're going to end up being the privileged lady, not this nonsense. All right. Holy crap, holy. Things come in so quickly, they get confusing, guys. Sorry about that. I get the messages out the best that I can. I'm going to leave that over here. I'm going to pull some messages. What do I need? I'm being told to use Moonology. Pull two Moonology cards. Okay. Oh, man. All right, Collective. This is for you. What does Spirit have to tell you? I have to tell him Spirit. to release and your dreams need a practical plan collective because this this wealthy man is coming your way he had to go through all of this with this false person and this these these two false people i really feel like there's two false people here oh now i understand it really does link in with the other one i said so i really said that in the beginning so in my last reading there was a, this masculine an older gentleman that was with a younger woman, and there was a young child between six and seven, about six, I, I want to say six and a half, seven years old. And if you look in this card, there, okay, so in that, in, in that video, and I was having a premonition of a woman telling her spouse that the baby wasn't his, and it was from a threesome that they had, obviously when the baby was conceived, and the third party was the actual father. That third party is this main male okay okay is this main male to this karmic female so this person over here that's our main male over here right here okay he could be a mature man i mean they both are so i i they hold each other in high honor so i'm, I'm gonna assume I'm, I, this is just an assumption i'm going to assume that they're friends spirit is that true Yes, Spirit says that they are friends. They hold each other in high honor. I did say that they could be, yeah, so. Now, little Miss Lady over here is in the relationship with this wealthy man, okay? This main masculine was the third party in their situation. Little does little Miss False Person over here realize that this wealthy man also had another person, you collective, that they're coming towards because of all of this, okay? Now, this baby right here, they know this child is the main males and not the wealthy masculine, okay? They're using this child for the money that the wealthy man is giving to this female to take care of the child she's dipping in to go and do stuff with this other person while she's still diddling him so many years later they never stopped this this was it this was a it feels like a complete setup spirits telling me it's a complete setup she set up this masculine they set it to, to steal his money to keep him locked down and he realized it he became clean, clear that the second that he married this woman, all the money that he had, if he goes back and look at the bank statements of all the money she pulled out and check her bank, she's been using it for this other person. The money that should be going to the child. If you look, they're all done up and he kind of looks kind of like a poor beggar, even though he's stealing from them because he's probably trying to steal from them to, to take care of himself because she's not giving to him what he needs. So he's dipping into this guy's pocket who shouldn't even be in the picture to begin with, taken from him 
because the, she's spending all her money on him instead of their child. And now this wealthy man is coming toward you, Collective, having to take a journey down, a, a, probably a spiritual journey, not probably, yeah, yeah, Spirit's telling me it's a spiritual journey, look, as he walks down the pathway, he, he follows the butterflies to the light, I really believe he's taking a spiritual journey right now so he can come towards you, Collective. So your dreams need a practical plan and what do you need to release? I feel like this, not this, this, these, I thought this was going to be for you collective, but in reality, I think this is spirit's way of saying wealthy man, whoever you are that wants to come towards the collective, please release this and, and make a practical plan to come towards them. Go on that spiritual journey. If you want to court this person, go on that spiritual journey. Yeah. This is insane. Who, 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 who does this? Who does this? I, 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 all right. I want to get into the juicy details. Uh, excuse me. I just, I cannot even, like, obviously people do it, but who raised these people? Who raised these people to think that this is acceptable? I mean, I was born in the 80s. I am part of the youth of the nation. I mean, not really, but, you know, the middle age youth of the nation. <laughs> and, uh, oh, hell no. I couldn't do this to somebody. I couldn't do this to somebody. I couldn't make somebody believe that a child was theirs and it's truly not. I couldn't do it. Unless I truly didn't, I mean, I shouldn't have any reason not to. I mean, if you're getting involved in threesomes and it was just kind of like a, a fun party thing, why are you going raw? Like, why aren't you slipping it on before you slipping it in? It's like somebody trying to like set it all up. Like, hello, pay attention to the flags, you guys, hello. Why, why are we having bareback sex with threesomes? With friends, like, do y'all care? We all trying to just play Russian roulette and see who got her pregnant? Like, what's, like, what's the deal here? Why are we having raw sex in a threesome? Hmm? Please, somebody explain this to me. Mr. Main Masculine and Mr. Wealthy Masculine, you, you guys are both mature masculines from what Spirit's telling me. So why are y'all not slipping it on before you slip it in with this one female? Maybe it's time for a detox where y'all partying and drinking too much? I'm getting confirmation. Whoa, my ears are on fire, you guys. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Y'all we all trip well, y'all rolling on ecstasy. We y'all taking some kind of drugs? Spirit's telling me yes. What we y'all taking? We y'all taking speed? Are you guys snorting coke? Were you taking ecstasy? What were you doing? To all be having a threesome with no damn protection. We all just trying to play Russian roulette. Now we got a child. And now it's somebody's getting played for their money. What, I'm supposed to say single while I wait for you? I'm sorry, no, I'm moving on. Collective, don't say that to this person. They need to go to rehab before your addictions take your life. We did see that. Let it all go. And in the end, only kindness matters. Yeah, if collective. If you're single right now, saying this to your your to whoever this wealthy man is that loves you, that's coming in towards you. If you're saying that, waiting on them, don't. They're coming in. They just need you to be patient. They probably do need to take this spiritual pathway to go to rehab and do all the things to clean it all up. And let it all go because it, yeah I like how you're you're slinging this to me <laughs> spirit in the end only kindness matters so don't just give up on them don't give up on them they want you they want you they need you oh baby oh baby like 
they need to let it all go and go to rehab, take the spiritual path or go on the spiritual journey or whatever it is that they're doing. They need you to be strong for them while they do it. They need you there. Please, it, it, collective, if this is your story, just keep kindness in mind. Let certain things roll off your back. Don't overreact. Be there for this person. They truly need you. They're going through a lot. Like, we saw that I know my worth. That's I understand, collective, that you know your worth. And that you don't want to stay single right now, but the, and you want to go out and you want to d d don't please do what you want at your life. This is my advice. From the energy I'm feeling, this person wants you. They see you as a privileged lady. They want to make you their privileged lady. They want to give you a gift. They want to give you a gift. Maybe they want to propose. Maybe they want marriage with you. Whatever the case may be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please listen to your friends. They're receiving messages from the 5D to guide you to help you down the right path. I truly believe that you are this person for them collective, whether you're actually receiving messages or not. But to you, you're, you're, they feel like you're helping them down the right path with whatever you're doing. You're helping them down the path to get them to the spiritual journey that they need. They feel like you take them to heaven. I know you feel like you deserve better collective. I know. But it's a time to be love and be love. Show this person love because they have a temptress coming after their money. They have a temptress coming after their money. And it's making them drink and do stupid things. It's making him drink. They're making him drink and do stupid things. Getting him involved in these situations to where now there's a child involved. There's a child involved that's being, being used. This child they're using this child to manipulate the, the money out of this man pay attention to what's going on around you they're your twin flame collective paying it pay attention just pay attention to to the surroundings between the two of you is what i'm what i i feel spirit is trying to get out here okay pay attention to what's going on around you both if you collective are in, in contact with whoever this masculine is that's coming towards you, obviously, if if you're tr t trying to, if you're communicating, obviously, pay attention, Gina. <laughs> pay attention to what's going on around you. Anyway, they are your twin flame. Ye I really feel the urgency to say you should stand by this person because not only do they want to offer you love, they want to offer you the world. And believe me, from what I'm feeling from this person, they can give you everything. Spirit is telling me, my intuition is telling me, they can literally hand you the world and everything in it. And all you have to do is be patient. Because in their eyes, you are heaven on earth to them. They feel like you're the best thing that ever happened to them. They feel like that you're gifted enough to help them walk down a path to get them to a point where they can go to rehab and feel confident about doing it and knowing that it'll help and that you'll be there to support them. So please don't be impatient. Just have a little patience. Hang on just a little bit longer, Spirit saying. Uh, I did say this in the beginning too. And in my last video, this, this, this temptress is younger by a significant amount of years. She's using these older men for their money, but in reality, she only has eyes for one, and she's going to take this man for his money, and she's going to manipulate him and use him, and then turn around and leave him a few years later, after he spent all that time and energy raising this little person. It was a little girl. It was a little girl. And he's heartbroken. That little girl is not yours, masculine, please. You're on the right path, you two. Are you across the country from him? And you want he wants to be there with you. You guys are at a distance from each other. You guys only talk on the phone. Well, he wants to close that dis distance, that journey, that spiritual journey. Maybe lead him right to your front doorstep. And then he's going to sweep you up. Oh, I see it. Oh, you open the door, collective. And this masculine's out there. He's going to pick you up in his arms and cradle you like a baby and hug you to his chest and kiss you like you've never been kissed before. And then set you down, spin you around, and spank you on the butt. <laughs> That's exactly what I see. <laughs> you 
you must have a nice tushy collective because he, he's staring at that ass. <laughs> Spirit! <laughs> oh, heaven on earth. Oh my goodness, you guys. Spirit just gives me the craziest details. He's the way I see him looking at you, collective. <gasps> oh my god, it really, he really feels like you are heaven to him. Holy crap, dude. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody in my entire life look at another human being with that kind of intensity. The eyes are locking and the kissing is fierce. He, the hands are on the side. He's got your face in his hands. I only see the back of your head and the side of his face, so I can't really make any details. But he is holding your face and he is looking in your eyes and he is about to... He, ooh, that passion. <laughs> And you guys haven't even got, gotten into the front door yet. <laughs> Golly. Oh my goodness. Collective. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What else we got, Spirit? 30 minutes. We can keep going. That's insane. Like, there's flowers on the hands and knees. Please forgive me. You were my everything. These are words coming out of his mouth. Holy crap, guys. That's beautiful. I wish I could share that with you. Outside of what I'm describing. Let's see. I'm gonna after I get I'm gonna get this up. Oh, oh, oh. There needs to be some respect, collective. I feel like this is coming from this is coming towards you. Have some show some respect. Don't get too uppity with him if he's, you know, trying to talk to you and trying to, you know, if you feel in a certain kind of way, just let kindness lead you collective is important to say let kindness lead you so that way when the time comes you you know he feels respected he doesn't feel like you just took advantage of him like these other fucking schmucks excuse my language what is this spirit please love she really she really meant nothing i learned a lot and now i'm ready to be yours your babies need your love yes even your pets I feel like you guys need to, to be loving up on some babies. You know, masculine, if you're listening to this, if you're the masculine that's dealing with this karmic lying to you about this child after so many years, they're still your baby. You raised them. They love you like a father. So they, they're going to need a lot of love right now from you. And if you truly love this person, you may want to, you know, take this, this once you go to divorce, for divorce, maybe you can figure out a way to keep in contact with your you're the little one you helped raise because this baby's going to need you. All, all she ever knew was you. Maybe her mother brought him around her around this other masculine somehow without her spilling the beans to you or asking this baby to keep the this other masculine to herself or she may not have even known and she was all the wool was being pulled over her eyes as well and that's what I'm feeling spirits telling me is the wool was pulled over both your eyes. And this little, this little baby is going to need some love. So please, masculine, don't forget about her because she's going to have a lot of freaking... This is going to be a deep, impacting situation on her. So just give her a lot of love. If you guys have pets, give them love too. Okay, everybody needs love, especially the pets. Chill out, pump the brakes, and get in your lane. Yeah, this that's how I think that this temptress needs to chill out, pump the brakes, and get in her lane because she's messing with... She, mm, this there was the twin flame card out here so these these people this connection over here is pr divinely protected so this temptress needs to understand she's messing with the divine some money that's going to leave some people in jail if they don't freaking get out of it soon. Honestly, I don't think that the wealthy man is going to be the one in jail. I truly believe it's this main male and that female. And that little baby may end up getting adopted in by this not wealthy masculine and he takes her with him. Because in his eyes, that's his little girl. And that's amazing. 
And honestly, that message, that message of concern could very well be this, this temptress realizing that she may lose her child because of what she did. Because if you notice, her face is, she seems shocked. She seems very overwhelmed. You play, you pay. Karma will come around and bite you in the ass. Slow dance with me, baby girl. Divi uh, divine masculine, you need to glow up and show the real world, the world, the real you. Because divine feminine, you are their truest wish come true. You are the greatest love of my lifetime. Please take me back. They, they, they could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We had Gemini and Virgo here. And water and fire. So earth, water, fire. Could all of this have been happening in the summertime? Could all of this have been found out in the summertime? I, w I never wanted to wake up and find out all it was all a lie. Well, masculine, divine masculine, yes, I understand. Getting played for a fool. Getting played for a fool is never something that anybody wants to realize, you know, you never want to wake up and realize the person you spent seven plus years possibly with lied, cheated, stole, manipulated you, used your child against you, all of these things like that. How many more times do you want to put me through this? Masculine, have you caught this, this temptress with this masculine a few times? Have you caught her cheating? Who put who through what? Spirit. Who put... I'll do anything to make up for what I did to you. Oh, Divine Masculine, you were putting the Divine Feminine through something. Were you manipulating the Divine Feminine to try to keep her from finding out that you had a baby and a family with somebody else? Are you waiting for the divorce to come through to be able to uh, get you out of this imprisonment that is your marriage? She only likes you for your money. She likes booze and drugs too, but not you as a person. Well, that's that temptress for you. A little succubus energy. Yeah. This wealthy divine masculine. This wealthy man, divine masculine, whoever the heck you are. Are you waiting on the paperwork from the divorce? From that very toxic person? Are you trying to get away from that very toxic person? The one that's younger and the temptress and the toxic and the nonsense that's trying to manipulate, your, use your child against you? Whether they're blood related to you or not, you raise this child. We have an artist and a biker. Some describing her cards of the people that are involved in this situation. Sorry, there's the artist and there's the biker. Besides the temptress, young person... You're talented, you can do anything you set your mind to. Yeah, if you're an artist. Just in general. We have a proud papa. The divine, divine masculine is the proud papa. He's at the foot of the mountain. She's over that hill. Honestly, once Divine Masculine, honestly, this is this is how I feel about this card. In all honesty, I feel like once you go down this spiritual pathway, go through rehab, clean up, do whatever it is you need to do, get your shit together. Honestly, this is going to be you. She's going to be at the foot of the mountain and you're going to be over that hill while she's still dealing with it. Because right now she's dealing with playing with black magic and spell work to keep you around trying to manipulate you through sex magic. More likely than not, it's sex magic. That's what's, That's what Spirit's telling me. And once she's using this against you too, she's using that child over you. She's using, she's holding that, she's using the child to hold you down and entrap you and imprison you. Wow. She's stealing your money for drugs. She, she it already said she likes, she'll do, she only likes you for your money, your drugs and your booze. Your girlfriend has another man in y'all's bed when you're not around. Let's see, what did it say exactly? Your girl has another man in y'all's bed when you're out of town working. It's the same man that knocked her up. The one that y'all, it's a friend of yours. Probably somebody you work with. 
There's another video on my channel that's, I'm being told, yes, Spirit is telling me, the video about the office, about the Divine Masculine getting caught up with the office hoochie, this is, this is the conclusion of that video. This is the conclusion of what's happening between Divine Masculine and the woman he thought he got knocked up. It's not his. That threesome? Yep. Yeah. This is, this is what's happening now. This is what's happening now, you guys. Let me write this down so I remember to write it in the description. So you all know. Apologies if I didn't write that down, I would forget it. Okay. You broke my heart for the last time because she cheats. Oh, you married that karmic mess. Yes, yes he did. Yes he did. And now his heart has been broken for the last time because this, this female has been cheating. It's been a nightmare ever since he started, got involved with this person. And now... Karma is here. She drunk dialed the police, got in line to get me arrested, and we have a firefighter. Switch out the decks. Okay. masculine do me a favor don't go after this person don't get, go after this person because if you do they are going to drunk dial the police to get you arrested and you're going to end up in jail so don't don't go after them just walk away to go on that spiritual journey go to rehab go to your divine feminine and leave this shit alone fight for your kid do what you got to do there even though the baby isn't yours, if you raise raise her, you know, there's there's ways around this. So go seek legal attention. I, I'm not a lawyer or a therapist, so I can't really say much. But I will say this. Go talk to a lawyer. You can get a, a consultation with somebody and talk to them because I think that's going to be your best bet in this situation. Nothing compares to your love. Divine Feminine, he is saying that to you. We have a fitness lover. Somebody in the Midwest. Are you guys in the Midwest? There's a lot of, uh, from what I've seen, when this divine masculine comes and grabs y'all, oh, there's no doubt in my mind this person is a serious, I mean, who oh, spirit, wow, Blah. okay, the intensity of the love, oh. The intensity of the love that he has for you, collective, whoever you are. Oh my God! It's like there—you are literally drawing him to you like gravity. You're—it's like you're manifesting each other, and you're literally like, "This is what's." 
<laughs> it's like a magnet. Oh my goodness, you guys are a twin flame, that's why. But he loves you. Oh my god. Nothing compared he Boho Princess. Thinks you're magic. Do you believe in magic? Get out the sage and clear yourself and your space. Find your higher power and save your soul and find peace. Hmm. Do you believe in magic? Whoa, oh, oh. Yes, I really want to say that. Do you believe in magic? Because this, there is some magic behind this. Y'all are man whether you whether you realize it or not, y'all are manifesting each other. Oh, my stomach is flippy flop, and I got all the butterflies and hearts and rainbows coming out of my head. You know, you have a blackmailing, backstabbing karmic female on your hands, divine mes mas mescaline. Were you guys taking mescaline? Ooh. Anyway, this this temptress, she's going she's gonna try to blackmail you. She's gonna do all kinds of things. But you're protected. Do you see this? They feel you in your it's cause y'all are twins. Take that romantic getaway for two. Go go be all hopeless romantic. Get that love on, man. Damn. Because y'all are like, in my head, y'all are like about to just start freaking on the damn porch. Like, you better get in that house and quit, 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 quit getting crazy about it. Like, that is going to be a re that is going to be a joining of souls. Like, I have no, holy crap, man. Hey, whoever y'all are, please do me a favor. And when y'all get engaged to get married and all that business, please, I want to come. Because I, I need to see this, this love in person because that is some intensity right there. I want to be in that energy. Whoever you are, damn. Your spouse? Gonna be your spouse? Collective, they're gonna be your spouse. Y'all are gonna be together forever. They want nothing more than to spend the rest of this existence with you. And your embrace ignites my soul. <laughs> the way I saw y'all embracing in my damn head, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That That is gonna be, the, I mean, the, whoo. That is going to be something to write about. For sure, y'all should. Marry me, my sweet angel. What did I, like I said. you. There you go. Confirmation. Confirmation. You're going to be telling that karmic, I believed you for the last time. We're done. You're over. No, I'm going to come over here and marry my sweet angel come love up on her and we have a big spender well he is a wealthy man so we understand they want to be a big spender on you because you're all there they dream about but masculine keep it in your pants stay out of trouble get away from uh if it's a city girl that you're dealing with get away from her go to your boho princess or whatever the case may be that's what spirit's telling me never stop believing in yourself you can if you masculine if you're doubting yourself and you don't think you can get through this alone you can Keep watching the readings. Keep watching the readings. Stay prayed up. Talk to your divine feminine if you guys are still communicating. I believe you are. Because one touch and all the pain will go away. That embrace, that first embrace that's going to ignite your soul. None of, this, none of this bullshit will ever matter again. None of this over here, this toxicity, will none of it, it would, it'll completely disintegrate from your life. I mean, you're going to have to deal with some you know, residuals of it, but you're, it's not even going to affect you anymore. The second you touch your person, oh, spirit is telling me the second you touch your person, you're never going to literally will not want to let them go like at all. Like you are going to want to be attached to them at the side. You're going to be all up and down in that ass. Like the thing spirit is saying that you guys are going to be doing like, ugh, I don't even want to know. I don't want to be a part. No, I don't want to be a fly on the wall. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> Y'all are nasty. Don't be ill. Don't be get ill, spirit. Don't show me that. <laughs> oh man. Look, y'all are gonna act like you are 21 again, the both of you. 
crazy freaking horny toads. Y'all need to chill. I don't know if y'all had, you know, if somebody's keeping it in their pants, maybe taking a vow of celibacy, y'all are going to pro- <laughs> Oh, spirit. <laughs> oh, heaven on earth. Y'all ever see scary movie? Oh my god, I don't even want to- This is glue her to the freaking ceiling. Oh my god. <laughs> spirit! I've ever seen where what's her name Sandy and what's his bucket were shagging for the first time and he blows his load and lands her like literally pins her to the ceiling like glued that's what I'm seeing right now. that's what your spirit's showing me right now you guys are nasty <laughs> oh my god I can't even you guys too much what else, spirit anything else oh my goodness <sighs> any final messages Man, somebody in the military, thank you for your service. You're the moon to my son. Y'all are twin flames, so I mean, it makes sense. I love you so much. We got a businessman, military personnel. We got two here. They think you're you're, you're a very unique person, and then believe you're your king or they're your. <laughs> Maybe this karmic doesn't want me saying anything because she's using black magic. Maybe she she doesn't want me to say this. Maybe she watching too. You know what? Sorry, karmic. You're a toxic person and you need to exit stage left and get away from this union. Because these two, there is nothing you can do to stop them. Maybe postpone it for a while. But you will never stop this. The divine wants it to happen. The divine will have it. However it is. To me, it feels like it's going to be sooner rather than later. I feel like this masculine is going to find out before you... I feel like the masculine is watching right now and realizing what the situation is and realizing that this person really is a toxic little tramp. And um, we need to exit stage left. Let me get that paternity test right now because I want to take my girl and have a romantic picnic in a wildflower field and maybe, you know, plaster her with some freaking trees instead of the freaking ceiling. In the south, we had Midwest. The south. We have a rocker. Yes. Favorite band. Okay. We got fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius out here. Fire out here twice. Earth out here twice. We have. So we have Gemini. We have Capricorn, right? Mercury. No, it was Virgo and Capricorn, or excuse me, Virgo and Gemini. So Virgo is out here twice. Sagittarius is out here twice. And we have Scorpio. So we have air, earth, fire, and water. All four elements are out on the table right now, guys. The angels and your ancestors are watching over you. Thank your protectors often and count your blessings. Like I said earlier, you guys are divinely protected. You're a divine pair. You know, you are a twin flame connection brought here to do something amazing for the world. And I really feel it has something to do with the story in which you guys are uh, living right now. Write a book. Write music. It did say artist, so however your art is, let this situation be your muse. Put the phone and the tech down. Go outside. Your souls need the sunshine. Yes. No one compares to you. Pray and keep God in your heart. Absolutely. And I truly, divine masculine, divine feminine, if you guys are watching this, whoever this resonates with, just go to each other. For the love of God, y'all need it. Honestly, y'all need that connection. Your souls are screaming for each other. Quit getting in and out, going in and out of relationships that don't have any real meaning. You guys are meant to be. Let it happen. Let it happen. Let this karmic go. Let her go. Let her go. Please. Let her go. Go to your divine feminine. Go get to all your hearts and rainbows and all that hopeless romantic nonsense. Get away from the karmic drama queen. Oh. 
have your girl over here, your divine feminine, go slip into something. Wait, what does that say? Please let me sweep you off your feet. Go sweep off your sweep your feet. Wow, see? Karmic drama queen over here throwing black magic does not want me to say anything like this. Divine masculine, go to your divine feminine and sweep her beautiful goddess self up off her feet. Go have a Sunday drive with her. Go become that spiritual being you need to be. That go to dinner and a movie with this person because that baby ain't yours. Whoever the boss lady is, continue to be a boss lady. Maybe go slip into something a little. Maybe you're the divine, you're the boss lady, divine feminine. But your masculine says go slip into something a little more comfortable because we got a ceiling to paint. <laughs> believe I just said that out loud. <laughs> you deserve the world, Divine Feminine. They want to go all the way with you. They could be a musician. You could be a musician. You this, write about it. Because this karmic, she's a copycat tramp that's playing your Divine Masculine for a fool. She's a tramp. They want you to say yes to being theirs and only theirs. Because they're a fool now, and they see it, and they want you to forgive them for all the shit they put you through. All they have to do is believe in themselves, develop a practical plan to become that spiritual being, and heal themselves, and uh, move the freak on from this nonsense. Anything else for the collective? That's some funny shit, collective. Oh my god. Yeah, we already established this shit. <laughs> I love this card. I think I was, um, I think I was channeling Aphasia King when I, when I was writing Build a Bitch because I don't ever say shit like that, but she a Build a Bitch and guess what? She'll never compare to you, Divine OG Feminine. Cause she a gold digger. That ain't gonna be digging up on your man no more. So look, Miss Copycat Build a Bitch, you're not the Divine OG Feminine the person you're being left for yeah that's her so take your gold digging ass over here to this other person and go manipulate them for some for, for, for whatever or go live happily ever after with them do whatever it is you do just leave the divine masculine alone already so he can be with his divine feminine and live happily ever after because they want to play spoons and they believe that they're so sweet and she broke my heart just like I did to you and they, they see how much of a fool they were and they want forgiveness and it ain't from you. But they, the divine feminine is saying to you, divine masculine, if you were an honest man, things could have been different between us. The thing is, is that's only temporary because the way I see you two in union, it's only they're speaking out of anger hurt people hurt people so divine masculine you may have to build tough skin okay the perfect proposal divine feminine is about to happen let Gigi marry you because your eyes melt their ice cold soul and they want you to whisper how softly you love them in their ear Damn, yes, queen. Whatever you're doing, Divine Feminine, keep going because you got your boo thing wrapped around your little finger. Because they're done with this nonsense. The second they look into those eyes for real, for real, that perfect proposal might even happen on that damn doorstep. Because <laughs> let me tell you, they want to go straight to the honeymoon. They ain't playing. They keep it in their pants. You're right. Trust yourself. Listen to your intuition. They play in you. I want forever with you and only you, Divine Feminine. I swear she meant nothing. I was drinking and made a poor choice and a threesome without wrapping it up. Got involved with somebody. It, mm, they realize it. They realize it. Final message. Let's get a final message from you, Spirit. So you going to go up to that karmic little hoochie say we done done right right yes because we have a stay-at-home mama here too she might she I mean she may be a stay-at-home mama if she if you guys got kids and you're the kind of person that would ask her to stay home and take care of the babies she may be a stay-at-home mama this karmic golden tramp and that's how she's able to get away with doing what she's doing because she's home all the time all right 
never come back and she lied and said I hit her yep there you go so now divine feminine you know what's going on your man love you you his boo thing you his divine feminine you're the sun to his moon and he loves you I'm going to get one last message with the romance, or romance oracles. I'm being told to use romance oracles. And then we'll close out the reading. Okay. You're going to have that reconciliation collective. It's going to lead to a, it's going to lead to an amazing... You're going to get to know each other very intimately, may I add. Very intimately. Because you diver, deserve love, you guys. You really, truly do. And you're going to end up healing all of those issues. Family issues, maybe with this baby or however it is. And you're going to have that honeymoon. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys an hour later. But that was worth it. That was Some of that was pretty funny. I don't like this temptress little succubus whore. We don't like her. And yes, I'm calling her her names. And yes, I'm going to have to repent for what I've said about people and the way I say certain things. But hey, you know what? I am an obedient woman. I'm going to get these messages out. Yeah, I may, have, I may have a potty mouth. I may have a potty mouth. But the thing is, is Gigi loves you all. Even the karmics, I pray for the karmics harder than I pray for you guys because they need it more. They truly do because they, they crazy cuckoo bananas and they, some of them need an ass whooping, you know, I'm going to leave that to, to the most high, but yeah, some of these, these broads need to get their ass whooped. I wish a bitch would try this shit around here. No, look. I am a divine feminine. I have a divine masculine. I know who he is. And if, if this has happened behind the scenes in my situation, First of all, as I look down, I see this, and I'm going to tell any succubus gold-digging tramps, if you tried to do any of this to my masculine, or my family, or anybody that I'm in contact with, just believe that the Divine Holy Spirit and the angels protect me and my family, and my Divine Masculine. So, Divine Masculines out there, if you're my Divine Masculine and you're working, I love you. I love you all. And if you're going through this and you need the GG, you know how to get a hold of me. All of you. Right down to even my own masculine. Okay? You know how to get a hold of me. You can find me if you might. You, you obviously have my number if you're my divine masculine. So, um, <clears throat> you can call me. If you got a little succubus, little hoochie over there that needs an ass whooping. Me and, me and the most high, we can, we'll communicate and I'll let him know. Not that he doesn't know already. But, you know, I would never put my hands on nobody. But I will tell you this. My ancestors... I, I ask Archangel Michael now to come down and protect the divine beings, all of the beings that are involved in this situation. Please continue to wrap your wings and your arms around these people that need your protection from this black magic. Please allow them to be safe and rest peacefully and easily and heal and take that path towards spirituality and oneness with the Most High God. And please allow this karmic person here who's manipulating and using a child against the divine masculine to heal from whatever it is that she needs to heal from and to learn from this lesson so that way one day she will understand what life and, and love really truly are about and to never use it against someone else thank you angels thank you that's that's my love for you guys I pray for you always. I close out this reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors that have helped me channel these messages. This message is closed. This reading is closed. Oh, yeah. I am exhausted. It is 8.41 at night, and I feel like I've been up until 5 o'clock in the morning and without sleep. That's how sometimes when I channel these energies, you guys, that's just how it goes. That's insane. But you know what, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines that this resonates with? They're going to come out above. And believe me, when you get a hold of your female, <laughs> I, I pray for anybody within a 10 mile radius, y'all. <laughs> Truthfully. Y'all y'all be crazy freaky. Y'all going to have a great time. Y'all are going to be amazing. And I pray for you to have an amazing, an amazing life together. I truly do. And like I said, if y'all want the GG to marry you, hey, give me a holler. Send me an email. I'll get the paperwork done. I will get certified. I'll do what I got to do. I'd love to marry you guys.
times when we can. With that being said, I'm going to close it out. Yet another one hour reading. <laughs> Only for you guys. All right. If you have, if this did resonate or you just want to show some love to the channel, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers for a special gratitude giveaway that Gigi's doing. Um, hit the notification bell if you want to see more readings like this. And until next time, Gigi loves you. Light, love, and blessings to you all. Good night.